In lab two, what we're going to do is we're going to group our code into functions. We're going to learn all about functions. So now you're going to be able to copy code and use it again and again. So now at the end of this lab, your, your program is going to print out the tic-tac-toe board with all spots number one through eight, or actually zero through eight. There's nine spots, but it starts with zero. So now we're ready to call that show board function. How do we do that? Right after this, after we've built our um, array here, I'm going to uh, come down and I'm going to put in my comment, show the board. So now I enter and I type show board. Spell it right. <laughs> my semicolon. Now there's one more thing we have to do before we can uh, test our snowboard function. I mentioned in passing before about local variables and global variables. Local variables are declared right within the function it's located in. Okay, that's what makes a, that's what makes a function powerful. Okay, if you've got a variable in it, it only uh, talks about that variable within the function. So you can port it from one um, program to another. So within here we're going to, within the void um, frame here, we're going to declare a variable here. It's the char board 9 variable. However, you notice that um, we have to put it, we have to have a global variable for it to be used in a function now, okay? Within the function uh, we have this new function that we've established called show board, right? So we need to have uh, we need to have a variable that work there. When you declare a local variable, it won't always work for everything. So we're going to add a global variable. Well, global variable can be used by any function. Okay, it's declared outside of all the functions before even the main function. So you're going to turn your board that we built before into a global variable. So your show board function can use it. It's usually considered somewhat bad coding, but in our case with such a simple code like this, it makes sense. So now I'm going to come back up and under by using the standard namespace here, I'm going to declare global var variables. Put my comment here. So I'm going to come down here and grab uh, my char board 9 and make it my global variable. Now I don't have to worry about deleting that comment because we're going to, I'm going to cut this and put it up here. We're going to be putting in other local variables. So I just go click paste here so we don't have to get rid of that. But we put this uh, char board 9 and cut it and paste it up here. Or you could drag and drop it, same thing. Um, so that we can um, use something later. But this uh, makes us able to use it both in the main, this char board 9, and also in the new function show board that we just, we just used. So now it's time to see if our show board function works. So I'm going to save my program, click the file here, then I'm going to run the debugger. Debugger, start debugging, of course I click yes and I wait for the results. Okay, my build was successful. Everything uh, came up the way it was supposed to. Now let me show you something. I'm going to run the um, start without debugging now. So I should see 0, 1, 2 here. If you don't, um, we'll, we'll check our code. Okay, look for semicolons here. Look for brackets. You know, check it out against this uh, 13 of 19 frame here on um, lab 2 to make sure that you, you know, double check it to make sure that everything is what it's supposed to be. Now what we're going to use to space out our numbers is we're going to use this key right here. See this thing here? Um, so this uh, right above your enter key. So now we're going to space it out. 
Space it out, man. So I can go down to board zero. Uh, right here, my C out. And I'm going to type another printout. So right to board zero, I just type um, a couple of uh, brackets here. And I do my um, quotation mark, space, uh, line, space, quotation mark. Then I come out here after board one. And I do another brackets. Then I do quotation mark, space, line, quotation mark. So now let me see what this looks like. I click my save button here. Then I click debug. Yes. Okay, that worked. So now I just go debug. Start without debugging. I come down here and I want my 0, 1, and 2. That's what it looks like. Now I'm going to add two more rows to the playing board and add a line that goes in between them. So I copy this um, function here. Then I copy, control copy. Then I click enter. Enter, then I click control V. Uh, and one more time. So I make this three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now I'm going to make the lines that go in between them. So I go to the end of this line, click enter. Now I put a, uh, another C out command. I put my quotation marks in between my quotation marks. I want to like a, oops, a couple of these, a couple of dashes, a plus, three dashes, another plus, a couple dashes, and a quotation marks. Then of course my, um, oops, things here, <laughs> and um, put in end line. So I'm going to copy this, control C, and at the end of this command, I'm going to place, type it again, and I'm going to come to the beginning and I'm going to add a line at the top. Just going to type C out. An end line. Then I come at the end and I'm going to go C out. End line. Now what that's going to do is make the um, make my tech-tech-toe board stand out from all the other stuff that's written. So let me just print this, let me debug this, see what this is going to look like. Okay, that debugged. I'm going to click debug and click start debugging. Oops. I'm going to click debug and start, start without debugging. So that's what yours should look like, just like this. Once again, if it doesn't, um, check to see your, uh, check to see that your code looks like this example on screen 18 in Number two, just double check to make sure you didn't miss any any quotation marks. Make sure you didn't you put um, semicolons at the end of your statements. And that's the end of lab two. In lab two, we wrote the function, we declared our function, we made a global variable, and we called the function. Okay.